everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel and welcome to you today we're going to be reading for the lovely Sagittarius so Sag let's have a look what's coming in for you this week what have the cards got in store messages for you for my lovely I'm sure that crystal's alive <laughs> he's moving a bit closer and closer um for you this week okay so let's have a look for oh all those want to fly out for you so i'm going to go with what they want me to read we've got a fair few going on here but we'll have a look of what is going on we'll incorporate these as we go on so first card four of pentacles so this week you could be contemplating on whether to spend or outlay on something okay i do feel that you've been quite um savvy of late of not spending holding on to your purse strings but i do feel that there's um some kind of situation this week where you may have to dip into that purse or wallet okay where you need to be outlaying but for a reason okay there's a, a reason behind this which will bring you some clarity because i've got the seven of wands here so you're trying to get this um, environment around you where you feel more at peace, more settled. So you could be sort of having a revamp, um, literally, you know, in your living space. And it's as though you need to outlay things to get around you to make you feel comfortable. OK, I feel like um, you're trying to connect with your inner self. And by doing that, you, you want to be sitting in an environment that is comfortable to you, what meets your needs. So. I do feel money being spent this week pleasurably, okay, to get you to this um, peaceful situation because we've got the Kings of Swords energy here and it's as though you are resting on your laurels, okay, you're observing um, what is happening around you but I feel it's like to say take time out in as I said, assessing and getting this environment where you are happy in. I don't feel you're happy in your in your living space at the moment Sag okay you're not happy in your living space and I do feel that you're just trying to bring some more peace and trying to tap into who you really are okay so you're concentrating this week on making your environment a better place a more peaceful place and a less stressful place and having the king of wands okay you feel like you've got extra energy and strength to put your efforts into this change this week and when i look at the king of cups this is how you want to be okay you want to be in this peaceful calming situation okay environment water is surrounding this person in this card and it's just saying you need to get your emotions in balance your spirit in balance okay I do feel for some of you though um, that you know that there's a opportunity that you've missed but it's not bothering you it's not worrying you and you're thinking no that that ship can sail I'm not ready to take on that task I'm not ready to move at the moment I'm quite happy here just trying to get some peace and clarity in the place the situation that I am currently in you're not out for adventure you're not out for um, you know chasing after dreams at this moment in time all you're trying to do is connect with your inner self and try and get things seated in your own heart um okay getting clarity within yourself so let's just open that up a little bit more then and see what else we've got going on for sag it's like you're becoming a guru to yourself. It's like you're trying to, um, you realise that less is more, okay? Less is more, but you have to outlay on certain things because you want to try and get this, it's like trying to get this peacefulness um, around you, getting rid of the electronical stuff and bringing in calm and more, you know, uh, resonating um, music-wise, um, ambience-wise, and everything like that so you can start to meditate and tap into your inner soul okay the real you not the you that is expected from other people so it's like making this little 
haven, this little paradise. And we've got here, strength card coming out. And it's like taking off the burdens and lessening the responsibilities. You've put things on your shoulders that didn't need to be there, okay? You've put responsibilities and everything else on your shoulders. Um, your own doing, okay? So it's saying the burdens are being taken off you and you feel this new lease of life coming in this week, Sad. A new lease of life. Let's just get a little bit more on this thing. And we've got reminder, okay? And I want to say the reminder is don't forget don't forget who you are. It's like this big wake up call of um, you haven't really been living the life for you. You've been doing things trying to please others and it kicks in saying, hang on, let's remind myself who I am. Let's remind myself what my needs are. And we've got the oath card and this is where you are swearing allegiance to yourself of, you know, I'm gonna make my environment better. I'm gonna make me, my, me a better person. I'm not going to overcomplicate things. Okay, so it's really positive energy coming in for you. So let's just have a look at the message from the universes this week then. Sag. Okay. What is the message of the universe? I want to say for some of you on a romantic that um, some of you are swearing your true love to somebody. Like it's saying... You're reminding somebody, you're reminding somebody, look, don't forget, I swore to you I'd be true and honest in, in my opinion, my honest with my words. And it's like you are going to be confronting some of you, not all of you, obviously those who are in a relationship. You know, it's like to say, um, hang on a minute, don't forget, we swore, a, a, you know, I swore an oath to you that I'd be honest with you and everything else. Because I do feel on some Sagittarians, there might be a lack of trust on a partner side, either if it's you or vice versa, but whatever, one of you is going to say, look, you know, I'm going to remind you, I was going to be honest and I was going to, you know, not tell you lies and what have you. And it's like that comes out into the mix for some, but not all. Now, I've got two messages, okay, that they want me to um, portray across. Stick with it, okay, stick with it and put others first. That has been your downfall. As I said, you've been putting others first and it's time now to, to flip it round and start doing things for you. Hence why, stick with it, what you've got planned in your mindset. Also, to stick with it on this relationship where I feel there's been a blip somewhere and, um, you know, this conversation comes about of, but you, you know, let me just remind you what was said here. I swore an allegiance to you. I, you know, I can swear that I haven't been cheating. I haven't been doing this, this and this. And it's saying stick with it, stick with the truth, okay? Because um, I do feel there will be a resolve on that. I am just going to clarify that for those on the romantic, just in case they do want a little bit more on that message for some of you who may be... Um, dealing with the romantic side of things. I know obviously not all of you are in relationships and what have you, but um, <laughs> we've got the lover's card. I mean, come on, guys. We've got the lover's card here. So it's just saying, as I said, stick with it. And I do feel where these um, blips in the road are and this confrontation comes in, you will sort that out, okay? So we move on and let's just get a little bit more clarity on what else is going on for more Sagittarians. Sag, Sag, Sag. Okay. I do feel on some, it's like, that. I'll just keep hearing it in my ear, uh, it's a tall order. And I do feel that is still on the romantic of, you know, we knew it was going to be difficult. We knew we we're not going to be able to see each other as much as we have done. And it's a tall order, but I swore to you that I would, you know, I am here for you. And, and I do feel it's that kind of a vibe for some. So we've got Queen of Hearts, Sixth Sense, okay? And I feel this is the energy coming in of where somebody, if it's not you, it's your other, you know, the other person involved here, saying they've got this Sixth Sense. They feel something isn't right with you. There isn't right in the relationship. There's a Sixth Sense where... If it's not relationship-wise, you've got this sixth sense about a hunch 
about uh, something that is going to be coming in and I reckon around May time where you feel that an offer is going to be put on the table and I do feel it's coming from a friend type of a scenario where they will say I know you're in a job at the moment but I've, I'm working at this place and this, this position is coming up, are you interested? Or it could be a situation of um, there's this opening coming up or there's this person you know that I'd, you know, I'd like you to meet um, it's that kind of a thing, but it's like this sixth sense where you feel in your gut feeling something is going to be coming and presenting itself to you, whatever that may be around the May time. If you can hear crying outside this door, it's my cat and he, I'm not going to let him in at the minute because he will just destroy this table. So I'm just going to forge on with your reading, Sag. So do apologise if you can hear him crying outside the door. And that definitely wanted to come out. And let's just get another card for you. And we have the oyster, okay? And I always think the oyster is communication waiting in the wings for you. Hence, when I said around the May time, I feel a big change is going to be coming in for you for better, okay? Whatever scenario that may relate to. And then we've got the cobra, which is the fire element. And this is you. You are on guard, you are on point, you are alert. They're telling me, Sad, you've got your, it's like every sense is in your body, you're on, you're on red alert, okay? You, you are feeling and sense, sensing um, everything 110% more than the norm. So you're very, very sensitive at the moment and um, it's just saying that you are on this red alert because you feel, one, you need to get your home space right for you and you're very, very vigilant and alert thinking to yourself I know things are going to change I know things there's better things coming in and you are just holding on to that and it's as though it's been held at the minute in the universe showing as the oyster but it will come out and I, and I keep on saying May for you Sag I feel May is the month so let's have a look from those in spirit what message they want to send to you and it's got support People come into your life for many different reasons, some you learn from and then they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. And it's just saying here, spirit are around you, anybody in your family who's passed over, they are there offering um, spiritual support around you. They know that people have come into your life over the last 12 months and have disappeared and then you haven't had the answers as to why. And it's just saying, allow the natural process to take place. There's a support network around you. Not to worry, okay? Don't trouble yourself over it because they are there in a spiritual sense giving you the love and support. So let's just have a look at the... Um, I've picked these up for a reason. I just want to pick up an outcome. From the animal spirit cards there's a reason why i've had to pick these up for you sag and we've got the camel yeah and that's why it's saying you can go the distance here a camel has reserves a camel can go through night and day and it's got its own store of fat in its hump um, basically there's a new phase going to be coming you're wandering through the darkness at the moment you feel like you're in the dark you feel there's no light on any subject and you're mindlessly just bimbling along, but it's saying you will go the distance and eventually a new phase will come in for you. Okay, my lovelies. So, Sag, I hope you can take something from that reading uh, this week. Sorry for the noises in the background. I am going to let my cat in now because he's clawing at the door. So, um, any likes, subscribes, shares uh, helps this channel grow and I will look forward to reading to you next time. So, take care, my lovelies. Bye then.